Hey everybody, so today I did a look using Le Grand Chateau, the new Too Faced holiday collection, and I used mostly the this little palette here, the turquoisey one. It's just so simple. It's got tons of like nude colors, but the three shimmer shades are absolutely gorgeous. And that's what really inspired me to do this look today. I think this would be like a really nice work look or like a work party look. Uh, it's, it's really easy to keep it toned down or smoke it out a little bit like I did. I think it looks really good. You can pair it with a nude lip like I did, or you can go a little bit more extreme and do like a burgundy lip for the Christmas holidays. And if you want to see how I created this look today, then stay tuned and thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so I started out by having my face totally cleaned and moisturized. And then I'm going to go in with the Revlon Photo Ready Color Correcting Primer in 002. And I'm just going to apply it all over my face. I've just been trying this out lately because I bought it in Winners and it was super cheap. But I'm really not a fan of the smell. Then I'm going to go in with Rimmel Last Finish. 25 hour foundation in 091 light ivory using a Morphe G6 brush and then applying it all over my face using a patting motion. I'm not going to drag it over my face but pat it into my skin. Then I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender and then just taking out all of the excess foundation that I have on my face so I don't look too cakey. Now I'm going to go in using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 15 Fair. I love this concealer, it's definitely my favorite drugstore concealer so I think it's highly recommended. I'm just going to apply it in a winged pattern under my eyes, down my nose, under my nose and then on my chin and using the same damp beauty blender I'm going to just blend it into my skin. Now I'm going to go in using the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Powder in 741A Translucent and I'm going to use this powder to bake my under eye concealer. You're going to go in and use a dry beauty blender or beauty blender dupe and then just pat it onto your under eye area. Just a really loose um, fitting under your under eye and just really lightly pack it on there and just try and get like a, a nice little uh, layer of that under there. Then I'm going to go in with my Stay Matte Press Powder from Rimmel in 011 Creamy Natural. As you can see, I've used this a lot because I've hit pan on it. And then I'm just going to go in with a Morphe powder brush and just set my entire face. Now I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and contour with the shade Subconscious using the shade end of the Kat Von D brush. Then I'm going to be using the top middle shade in the shade Lyric to highlight my face. I'm just going to go under that contour that I made before, up my nose, and then shade on my inner nose, and then just blend everything out. Then using a Morphe G3 brush, you're just going to lightly wipe away that powder that you used to bake under your eye concealer. Just a light sweeping motion just to get the powder off. You don't want to press too hard. Next, I'm going to go in with the Lise Watier Blush on Powder in 74 Mocha. I love this shade for the fall. It's just a really beautiful, rich, deep color. And then I'm just going to use a Morphe Angle Blush Brush and just pat it onto my cheekbones.
Then I'm going to go in and use the Smashbox 24 hour eyelid primer and then just pat it all up on my eyelid. Now I'm going to use the first shade in the turquoise palette from the Too Faced Holiday palettes and it's called Pot de Cream and I'm just going to pat that all over my lids to kind of take away from the pinkish color that I have. Then I'm going to go in using the second shade called Fifi in the crease using the e.l.f. Eye Crease Brush. I'm going to go in using the shade Bonjour on the lid using the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Just going to pack that all over on the lid there. And then using the same e.l.f. brush I'm going to go in with the shade Merci on the outer and inner corners of the lid just to give it a little bit more dimension. Then I'm going to go in with the shade La Femme using the e.l.f. defining brush on the outer corner. This shadow is super pigmented so just use it with a light hand and be super careful because I kind of went a little bit overboard on it the first time. Okay so off screen I just added winged liner and false lashes using the Cara DW lashes. And then I'm going to go in using the Rimmel Exaggerate Smoke and Shine Liner in Little Black Smokey 001 for my waterline. This just creates more dimension and I just really like the way that my eyes look when I, when I add black eyeliner to my lower water. Then from the black and pink palette in the collection, I'm using the color Le Marais to dot my inner corner and the upper brow arch, just to give it a little bit more of a highlight and definition. Wasn't really quite happy with the highlight that this gave my inner corner, so I used the Pretty Pearls in the Sephora Wishes Come True palette to just highlight more of my inner corner. Then I'm going to use the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced and do my upper lashes and my lower lashes. You don't really have to put mascara on your falsies, but I just like how it defines them more and just gives it a more dramatic look. And this is what the completed eye look looks like. So I already lined my lips with a very light lip liner and I'm going to go in using two types of Maybelline lipsticks today. For the outer corners I'm going to use 930 Truffle Tees and then for the inner mouth I'm going to use 915 Blushing Beige. These are super simple natural colors and I just love the way they look. By adding a neutral color to a darker neutral color on the outside you're giving your lips a little bit more dimension and I just like the way it looks better. So this is what the final look looks like. The contour is a bit more defined in real person because my lighting in here is pretty shitty, but I'm really happy with how this look turned out. You can add an extra bold lip, like I said before, and just make it more defined, but with my red hair it's not necessary. So I really hope you like this look, and please subscribe and like my video if you want some more.